I'm Tila of TilaHolcomb.com and today we're talking about what is a trading plan and why you need one to make money with stocks. So before you get started with trading and investing, it's important to have a trading plan laid out before you get out there with your real money. A trading plan is a list of rules or criteria that you follow that determine when you will buy and sell a stock. Now, it's important to have this trading plan or investment plan laid out to minimize risk. Let's go over a few of the details of what your trading plan should have. First, your trading plan should determine your strategy. What exactly are you doing? Are you trading or you're, or are you investing? In my case, I do both. So I have a trading plan for when I'm trading and then I have an investment plan. So I have two different plans that I follow depending on what strategy or what um, investment I am partaking in that day. Next, your strategy is then going to determine what your watch list is going to be. Your stock watch list is just a list of stocks that you watch or are uh, interested in trading and investing in and that is going to be again determined by what your strategy is because my long-term stocks are different than stocks that I trade on a week-to-week -week basis. The stocks are going to be different and the two plans there are going to be completely different as well. But your strategy again will determine what type of stocks you would like to look at and it's important to have a list of stocks that you're going to watch so that that's all you're focused on. You're not worried about the next stock that's coming out or what this stock that you don't you know nothing about what that stock is doing okay by having that stock list you know what you're watching every single time and then there's there's no doubt there's no guess there's no sitting around trying to figure out what stocks you're going to look at today or next week or next month you know because that is what your list has on it the next thing your trading plan should have on it is how you're going to determine your entry and your exit points is that going to be a certain price point or is it going to be certain indications on your chart? Is it going to be a certain profit point? That's all something that you need to sit down before you put your money out there in the market, before you make your first purchase. Determine what your entry and exit points are gonna be and stick to them. By sticking to an entry and exit point, you're gonna minimize risk and you're gonna minimize losses. With the exit point, it's important to determine what your exit point is gonna be if the stock is winning or you're making money and if the stock is losing or you're losing money. It's important to have those two determined because you wanna, you don't wanna get greedy and by having that profit point that you're gonna get out at, you you know you're gonna get out of that point and you're not gonna be greedy. It's to help you not be greedy. And then that loss limit is to keep you from um, losing all of your money. It will help you minimize your losses by cutting it short. Just say, okay, it hit my, hit my loss limit. I'm not willing to lose any more money than that. And then you sell. So those two, um, having that exit for your profit and your loss limit is so important to minimizing risk. That is one area that a lot of traders that aren't successful is because they're not cutting those losses. They don't have that loss limit in place and they're not sticking to it. So again, you need to have your entry and your exit point exit point having a loss of in a profit limit as well the next thing your trading plan should have or outline or detail is money management so how much are you planning on putting in each trade what percentage of your portfolio are you going to use at one time by knowing that you know that okay i know how much i can use each time and you're not going to use all your money if that's not part of your plan you know that you're not supposed to use more than a certain percentage of your portfolio but because that's what's in your trading plan. It keeps you from just guessing and just doing something that is not beneficial to your end goal as a trader or investor. A trading plan will also make things routine. So maybe there's a certain routine that you want built into your trading plan or detailed in your um, trading plan, such as maybe you're going to check your list of stocks on a certain day. Maybe you're going to check in with, if you have a community of traders that you collaborate with or that you are learning from, maybe you're going to check in with them on certain days or times or maybe you're just going to share what you're looking at so that you get that feedback from them and you're making decisions based off of solid information and giving yourself an opportunity to really think through your trades and your investment. You want your trading plan to be a repeatable process, something that you can do 
over and over again. You want it to be something that you can execute in your sleep. It doesn't need to be something that changes all the time because you want it to be routine, something that you do all the time and that will bring in your bring in profits by not having a plan you're just kind of guessing you're just out there buying whenever there's really no plan behind it no basis behind it, and it's not working again towards your end goal the trading plan that you implement should be something that again is a repeatable process that you can just do over and over again and ideally something you can just you know do in your sleep okay that you know it like the back of your hand and that is something that I've done let me show you an example or tell you the example of like how my trading plan works so first strategy I trade and I invest so I have two different strategies there and I've determined you know okay these are two different strategies they're going to uh, work two totally different ways so I've established that so when I'm trading I know I'm following my trading plan when I'm investing I'm following my investing plan then that means my two watch lists are different. So the stocks I look at for trading are completely different than the stocks I look at for investing. For my entry and exit point, that is more so for me on the trading side. I guess it does apply on the on the uh, investing side as well, but I know on the investing side, there's only one to three times per year that I'm going to buy my long-term investment stocks. That's part of my trading plan. I don't do it any other time outside of that. I always revert back to my trading plan. When's the best time to buy this stock? If it's not that time of year, I don't do it because it's not part of my trading plan. It's not what I've determined to be an element of my success, so I don't do it. Exit point for um, my long-term investments. To me, that is long-term, years to decades, passed down in my family, so I have no intention of exiting those investments. But I will exit those if they, if the company itself starts to display signs of degradation, meaning the company isn't doing so well, then I will look at selling those stocks. But again, I, I take a step back and look and see, is it the company as a whole? Is it really time to let go of that investment? On the trading side, I look at my exit, my entry points are you know chart indications, uh, price bases, and trends. I, I'm, I rely heavily on trends, on what does a stock usually do this time of year every year I follow those trends my exit point I look to see how much I can make from that stock each time and I stick to that and then I have my loss limit so that I don't lose any more money than I have to because I'm not in this game to lose money then there's my money management on the long-term investing side uh, like I said I don't buy more than one to three times a year so the rest of the money um, any other money that I move into that account just sits there in cash until it's time to buy more shares in those long-term stocks so throughout the year I'm just putting money in that long-term uh, account preparing to buy stock during those times otherwise I don't touch it that's my money management for that account now on the trading side I don't use more than half of my account balance that is just part of my plan so that I can minimize risk and that's what I stick to it has been very helpful for me that particular rule is in place for me because if something were to happen in the market I still have more money I can go back to trading with I haven't lost all of my money in that account so that's why I stick to that and I also will do same dollar amounts so if I buy $500 I'm going to always buy $500 worth just so that I'm minimizing losses as well so that if, if I lose in one trade the gains I've already had will offset the others just part of my trading plan but something you have to look at and see what is beneficial to your end goal that you need to have in your trading plan then there's my routine my routine is that sometime on the weekend I am going to review my list of stocks now I may not be looking I may not be trading that week or it may not give me an opportunity to trade that week but I will evaluate those stocks that I'm watching see if they are still worth watching and if they're not I will um, cycle through and see if there's something else if there isn't anything else setting up according to my entry criteria if my charts aren't indicating I just don't trade that week I just determine that I'm not going to do anything also part of my trading plan is to not day trade so that's part of my routine my strategies like I don't day trade so I'm not constantly sitting in front of the computer and watching it all the time because that's not part of my angle of financial freedom and trading my nine to five 
so I don't day trade. It's very important to outline what your trading or investment plan is going to look like before you get out there with your real money so that you have a plan to stick to. You don't feel like you're out there without um, any guidance or anything to do. with. By having a trading plan, you can look at that and say, okay, I know what I'm supposed to do in this situation or in this scenario or if this happens. And you feel so much more confident and comfortable in your trading and investing when you have those plans that like it, it's just amazing. There's no reason not to like it's it's always in your best interest to have that trading plan or investment plan and reference it each time before you buy if you have to until it's ingrained until it's routine and a repeatable process. If you have any questions, drop them in this video. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up, <laughs> share it with a friend and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video.